So the simple question we're asking on news hour is who should be held responsible for this unprecedented crisis that Delhi is currently going through? We are joined now by member of the Ahmadi Party, Professor Kamal Mitra Chinoy, cartoonist Sudhir Telang is with us in the Delhi studio. BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra also with us, spokesperson of the Congress, Sanjay Jha, and Professor Sriram Khanna, managing editor of Consumer Voice. But I want to ask you first, Sanjay Jha. Today we had Arvinder Singh lovely saying that if anyone is to blame, it is the BJP. Now this is a government which has been in power for what, 15 days? And don't you think that blaming a government which has been in power for 15 days is farcical for a party that has been in power in Delhi for 15 years? Uh, yeah, let me answer, you know, by actually putting some facts in perspective. You know, ever since the Delhi government under the former Chief Minister Sheila Dikshiji had privatized the power distribution, you know, what is the reality? The reality is that power cuts were down to zero. Delhi relative, if you compare it to the other metropolitan cities uh, with which it is comparable, had the lowest tariff in terms of the price of electricity. And if you look at even losses of technical and commercial losses which were as high once upon a time as 65 to 68 percent came down to 17 percent. Now that's the reality. Now what happened is if you look at what's happening in Delhi over the last six months, you haven't really had a government beyond the 49 days of Mr. K.G. Wall's government. Now if you look at the reasons why today Delhi is having a power cut, the warnings were given a long time earlier. You know the companies that are distributing companies called as DISCOMs, if they don't have cash, you know, they may have a balance sheet, etc., the but they have no fact, cash. I want to correct uh, they you have there to because pay it will not the be fair to let you get away unchallenged. The no truth capital. of the matter is that on the 30th of July, there was a northern power grid so, breakdown. There was a blackout in Delhi again on 31st of July in 2012. In June 2013, again, there was a power crisis in Delhi. So it's not really true when you say that there was 24 hours uninterrupted power in all the duration that the Congress was in power. Not factually correct. There's more, Sanjay Jha. Well, uh, let, let me give There's you more, Sanjay Jha. You, you since you say, since you're saying be, facts and reality, good evening, Sanjay Jha. There can be a sporadic Sanjay Jha, minute, please hear me out. 2006, the Supreme no, no, Court Anna, pulled Anna, up. Anna, just give me a minute. Anna, just give me a minute. The truth is, the truth is, the truth is, and let me tell you the simple business reality. If a corporation was being forced to reduce its tariff by 50% because of whatever populist promises were made in a manifesto, you've got to look at what are going to be the commercial ramifications no, of no, 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 no. Uh, please, now, uh, Sanjay Jha, before you move on. Sanjay Jha, really, Sanjay Jha be before you move on, if I'm, I'm quoting facts capital, and I'm stating reality. 2006, the Supreme Court makes an observation asking the Delhi government then under led by Sheila Dixit saying your, you, you have to fix your distribution. The Supreme Court of India pulled up the UPA government as well as the Sheila Dixit led Delhi government in 2006 when it pointed out that non-availability of power was due to distribution issues. Even seven years later, neither the UPA government at that time or the Congress Delhi government woke up to the problem. Then in 2011, September, the CNAG slammed the Congress Delhi government for the rising power deficit. Then. Sheila Dixit, six months before she is uh, going to demit office, she realizes the outstanding that private discoms owe the Delhi government. Now, these are also facts. These are also facts. And, well, and, know, Anand, and Anand, so far, the biggest issue is not about is. supply. One Delhi minute. has surplus when, power. When it's about government. distribution. So where has when it been fixed? Who should fix it? A government that is there for 15 minute. days, a you government that is there for 49 you know the days, reality? or a government that was there for 15 years? No. Yeah, let me answer yes. your question. If you look at that track record, forget one-offs that may have happened, but the truth is that today what are called as regulatory assets, which means what the discoms are supposed to receive as revenue that they don't realize, runs into an astronomical rupees 20,000 Why is it that Sheila Dixit realized that only that six money. months before now, completing you know, a 15 year term? Party is like the Why BJP are you talking tariff? I am talking supply, One distribution, minute. maintenance. The BJP and the AAP party, no. Well, let me tell you the problem. Yes, transmission and distribution is a problem. That is a part sector issue at a more Why larger hasn't the Delhi government fixed it so far? Why, what was the today? Congress doing and for 15 years? we can even talk about shortage of coal, etc. But sticking to Delhi, Anand, Anand, just give me a minute. Yeah. Sticking to Delhi, the critical issue is when our government, former government, 
wanted to make a, a tariff increase. You found protestations by the BJP and R for their own political ends. And today you have therefore a serious problem where the companies that are supposed to distribute power are absolutely strapped of working capital. They will not get any equity at this point of time. And today they are actually, you know, not able to pay NDPC. Uh, don't talk about 49 days. From don't talk about supplies. 49 now, days yet, Sanjay Jha. So Please talk about what today, happened in 15 years. Are you trying to say today, people of Delhi never had a power cut in, 19, in, in 2001? Oh. Never had a power cut in 2006. Never had a power cut in 2010, 2011, 2012. I can tell, well, you, let me tell you every year on an average, at on an average, Anand, three hours you, in the peak summer. Summer Delhi Anand, is equal to heat and power cut. How has that changed? Record. How has that changed? No, if you look at the last 12-year track record, Anand, you will find that Delhi was actually considered to be one of the most successful models of distribution of power. That's a fact. You cannot challenge me on any financials that you have with you. So these are situations that Piyush will have to handle because you're not going to get a short-term remedy. You have to increase tariff, then you have to go to the people and say, listen, if you want 24 into 7 electricity, you'll have to make certain hard decisions. You know, you cannot be Which different the Congress at an never election made. time and Which suddenly the Congress never a, made. A, a, wear a different hat Which the Congress of never governance made. and pricing. Because the UPA government well, we and the Delhi it, government right? we were going to do didn't it. take decisions. Probably if we had won at the third term, now, probably if we had Mr. won the Sanjay fourth Jha, term, what you didn't do in two terms, how can you say probably we had won in the third term? Program. They're talking of winning a fourth three term. Terms, three terms. Ha, we so did what very well do? in three terms. Uh, Sanjay, we have Sanjay, had a different Sanjay. government. Uh, all was well till now. Sanjay, all, all was well till now. But why do you bring a fourth term? Why torture us? My God. Sanjay, all was well till now. We were listening to you. But please don't torture by bringing a fourth term. Even an imaginary fourth term of Congress is a torture. But but Sanjay, I have umpteen number of papers in front of me. Sunday. And right now, most of the Congress spokespersons are saying, just, just a sec, Sanjay, the Congress spokespersons are saying, we gave you uninterrupted <coughs> power. Sanjay, remember one year ago, both of us on the same channel was debating the same issue. In fact, if you go to the Hindustan Times, May 29, 2013, the headlines are same. Delhi is without any power. You go to the Times of India headlines, just two days ago, one year back, the headlines were the same. Please don't say that you gave uninterrupted power. <coughs> Secondly, let me remind you, yes, Piyush has a tough job because you left the country at the brinks of destruction. Mm. But remember, you had a not grid failure. And one week after the whole half of the country went into a blackout, Sambhi, we had a new Home over. Minister. Sushil no, Kumar no, Sinde was promoted as the Home Minister. Now. And you should not, please, the Congress should not lecture on all these issues. Let me come to some serious point now. May 30th, we had a severe storm. We all know in 30 years of history of uh, Delhi, we never had such a storm. After the storm, I have a letter over here of a senior IS officer who works in the Department of Electricity. Let us see what he writes to the Lieutenant Governor. He writes, the situation after the storm on May 30th would have been handled without any load shedding and distribution problems if the commissioning of the 220 kV Wazirpur grid with incoming power from the 400 kV Mundka substation had been completed on time. Now tell me nothing was completed on time, whatever little infrastructure was there that was not upgraded and it is not BJP's version or not Sambit Patra's version. Just ask your own Transco. The Transco is saying we have not been given the transmission amount by the discoms. How do we upgrade our system? And to that I want to add Sanjay Jha, the fact of the matter is that uh, the well, total well, installed you know, capacity funny, in Delhi you know, is can I just upwards to of 7,000. But just when the demand is about 5,000, you are unable to meet it how do you explain that not happening if it's not for lack of foresight it's something that Piyush Goyal said yesterday but it's also borne out by the statistics yes Sanjay Jha. Well, you know, I want to answer you very quickly. It's very strange that the questions are focusing on me because Congress has not been in government since we lost the elections in December. Now, the BJP will always go back to history, but they need to take certain structural decisions on their own and they need to do it quickly. But, you know, to, just to explain how myopic and short-sighted the BJP is when it comes to India's energy needs, this was the same party in 2009 
that wanted to vote against the nuclear deal, which is actually a very, you know, effective See, uh, environment. Sanjay Jha, you just, you uh, just told me focus on Delhi, India, which is, you know, and now you're, you're digressing all together. So I just want to make, I just you know, want to this make a simple deflect, point. Deflect, I want to make one simple point. It's not going that, to work that, today. That end of day, and, and, and I'm going to call time out there. That you know, the Sanjay just told your thoughts. I'm going to go across. were not bleeding. I, I'm going to go across to Professor Shriram Khanna before I go across to Professor Chenoy and Sudhir Telan. And the consumers, you know, Professor Professor Khanna, Professor Khanna, you're the managing editor of Consumer Voice. You know, who do you think is responsible for this? You know, this has become a this has become a post-election slanging match between the BJP and the Congress, and electricity has gone down the pipe. Neither of them are concerned about the houses where there is no electricity. My friend's party, before the election, his Delhi party president promised the Delhi people we'll bring down power by 50% tariffs if we come into power. Then he was replaced by another person who said, no, no, we can't bring down 50%, we'll bring down 30%. The other opposition in the AAP was saying that you should not pay bills. And here the letter is being read that the line was not put up by the tra Transcom because the Discoms are not paying them. How do you expect the Discoms to pay for these investments and these upgradations mm -hmm. if the consumers are not going to pay their bills? Absolutely. Ultimately, let's be very clear, the BJP and the Congress and the Ahmadi Party have not been willing to call a spade a spade. You have to tell the public you have to pay the cost of generating and distributing electricity. Absolutely. No free That's power. Question. The Aam Aadmi Party must answer Kamil Mitra Chinoy because the Aam Aadmi Party is sitting pretty at present. You're holding protests outside Dr. Harshvardhan's house. But you have to answer that when your chief minister, when he was 49 days in power, he not only announced a subsidy, but he also said all his supporters who did not pay their bills were actually rewarded by all their dues being forgiven. How can you expect the discounts, like the professor was back, just saying, to put up uh, with these expenses when the people are not paying their bills? Comments. No, no, but this is no way to solve power. I am sorry, you cannot solve the power question unless you see the basic point is that long-term planning of power has not been done. The AAP government uh, also didn't do it. Of Professor Chinoy, the AAP government, they, the AAP government they also didn't do it. Measures, they they, they put forward populist measures. They were for two months. Yes, so it look, on hindsight it looks like they months. came with a plan of being How there for 60 the days BGP and they there? stayed for 49. No, no. Uh, well, I, well no, no, that but is you are asking rough. people of Delhi not to pay their bills. You are You are carrying out a campaign asking people not to pay their bills. No, tell, tell, no, tell no, us, tell that. us, Professor Chenoy, what did the AAP government listen, do? Anand, the did the AAP government leave a lasting impression? Well, did they plan beyond you. March? Let did they plan beyond 60 subsidy. days of being in power? Did they put forward no, a forward plan? Did they say that no, supply and distribution has to be improved? To they just decided on cutting and doling out freebies. They just attacked the discoms. They just focused on the tariff because they wanted to show superficial, immediate response to the people. That's I what has happened. I agree with you because if a concession is made to See, the one poor, thing I must it is say, in keeping with the kind come in of capitalism we have built, that we give, we give, wait a minute, we give Someone concessions just wait, yeah. to the poor. Second thing I want to say is that Samwitz party and the Congress have been here for the long term. And so, uh, are you agreeing? Long term, are you agreeing that the Aam Aadmi Party came there for the short term? They done. did not intend to pay there beyond 60 days. Are you are you agreeing to that fact? Listen, this is because this that's is what it looks trash. like, sir. Now I can only say that this is trash. No, no, this is a debate. So, how can you believe the Aam Aadmi Party protesting outside Harshwadan's house, Dr. Harshwadan's residence, and saying that no, we are here for the people of Delhi? How because can we believe the Congress Party? How can you believe the Aam Aadmi Party? Please answer that question, sir. How can we believe? The Professor Khanna, do you agree with Professor Chinoy? I mean, this is nonsense. Do you see? Do you do you do you agree with Professor the Chinoy there when he says that the Aam Aadmi Party was there for the short the term? BJP and Congress trash. are here for the long term. So How does do that know? itself show that the Aam Aadmi Party was there only How to give some populist know? freebies so that they can score some brownie points ahead of the ahead of the general elections? Listen, Does this not expose the Aam Aadmi Party? Is my other question. So who's responsible? Never speaks like this. Arnab never speaks like this. 
You are speaking like as Professor Khanna, your point. A party person. You are not supposed to be a party person. Professor Khanna, your point. This is interesting. All right, all right. Let me let me bring in Sambit Patra for a quick rebuttal and Sanjay Jha. Sambit Patra, go ahead. First, first, please, please, please. Why wasn't there long? Kamal, please, please, calm down. We are not, we are not pointing fingers. Professor Chinoy, Professor Chinoy, Professor Chinoy, no point getting angry at when I am asking you some strong questions. Just a second, Kamal. The BJP, not the Congress. This is the problem with the Ahmadni Party. They make such amount of decibels and noise for nothing, you know. I mean, Kamal, with due diligence to you, with due respect to you, you are a senior person. But let me tell you very frankly, Ahmadni Party has more of entertainment value in Delhi now than any serious value. We are not taking you seriously. Neither are you into serious discussion in this. It is between the Bharti Janata Party and the Congress because they are the ones for 12 long years they gave misrule to this country, to this, to this capital of our country. Leave aside the country; the country has already taught them a lesson. But the biggest point was our electricity not expert was saying that the discounts, in fact, could not get the right amount of money from the people. To which I object. In fact, the discoms have been hand in glove with the Delhi government. Mm. We have, at umpteen number of times, exposed their corrupt nexus. Just because the discoms claim that they are not getting their due, mm. that does not mean that we should not audit and them. So that the does not mean we should give them a free hand. That does not absolve the previous Congress government of not well, having the infrastructure in place. in place. That does not There's give, in fact, the Congress an analogy that they should not have an alternative system in place, which today, ironically, is not in place. Just because the discoms are corrupt, that mm. does not mean Congress has an alibi over there. No, no one is giving them any alibis and in fact we let uh, Sanjay Jha also come in with a rebuttal. But I want to bring in Sudhir Talang at this point. Sudhir mm -hmm. Talang, do you get the feeling that in the middle of this blame game where everyone is just looking to where to just uh, let the blame rest, no one actually cares at the end of the day about the people who are suffering three hour long, six hour long power cuts every single day. I can tell you that I live in Delhi and we're lucky if we have only two hours of power cuts. Padmaza, I live in Mayur Vihar phase two in Delhi. And I can tell you for the past one week, it's living hell. Sometimes it's for half an hour, sometimes it's for one hour, sometimes it's for two hours, sometimes it's for four hours. Last night, and before last night, it was a park at for three hours and four hours, from 12 o'clock to three o'clock and four o'clock. It's real hell. Let me show a cartoon here. I begin with a cartoon. Today, even Times Now is uh, following the advice of the left in government. When I entered the studios, there was no, no air conditioner working here. So you are also following the Lieutenant governor, Governor's advice. Yes. See, this is what is this? Can you show the cartoon, please? This is the state of, I just quickly drawn this cartoon. This is the state of the <laughs> Delhi citizen, right the, at the moment. You know, many years ago, somebody had said that Ghar Khuda Firdos Barruwe Zaminast 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 Haminast To Haminast To Haminast To which means that in Kashmir, it was about Kashmir, that if uh, there is a paradise anywhere on the earth, it's on Kashmir. You can slightly alter it. If there is a hell anywhere on earth, it's in Delhi right now. It's in Delhi. It's in Delhi. The thing is that I've seen many pictures of those posters during my childhood, and those posters can be, you can get it in Chaudhuri Bazaar and Naisadak. The picture of the hell. The sinners are thrown into a boiling, uh, a pan of boiling oil. Boil. Bo boiling, boiling oil. And this is what is uh, happening with Delhi, Delhi citizens. And why, why this, is, this is the state of the Delhi citizen and nobody is bothered about it. This but blame game is while the politicians blame, blame, blame one another. That is not going to take uh, us anywhere. The fact is, let me tell you Padmaza, can you, can you blame the Congress party which ruled here for 15 years? Why it not? was long back. Hmm. You can blame it. No doubt. And after that, for 49 days, this AAP government came, which did not sit in the office, but spent most no, no, of the time outside is, of the roads. No, no, but let us know Can what is the BJP, the what is the BJP plan to fix but it in 100 BJP days? the BJP government, let me tell you, is that they're only for two weeks. How can you blame the BJP government for this? Give them some time. And I think Narendra Modi has shown a big paradise to the people. Let us give him some time. Give him two years, three years and wait for it. We are looking for solutions and not for the blame games. All right, so Delhi Kandal, citizens are sick of it now. That. Let me ask you that. The Delhiites might be uh, suffering from hellfire right now, but who is the real sinner in this case? And what really See, is the See, all the, all the three political parties who had political space in Delhi, at one time or the other, have been opposing increase in tariffs. Mm. One has, uh, my friend's party, 
the BJP's uh, uh, Delhi president promised 50% reduction in power tariffs. His successor promised 30%. Aam Aadmi Party asked everybody not to pay the existing power bills. Mm. Uh, and uh, the Congress Party was not willing to have the tariffs go up. Until you can meet the full cost of power distribution and generation, you're not going to have power for 24 hours. You all put populism over practicality, Sambit Patra. So today you might be saying that it's the uh, it's the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party to blame. Padma, Padma, but what Padma about you? Look in See, my question Padma, is, sir. does BJP have a plan to fix everything in 100 days? Padma, I, I want an answer from him. He doesn't have an answer. No, no, no. Why? You are there is no plan. No, no, I'll come. Why, you why have no plan. You are only so blaming why you are only the others. Why are you so prejudiced that we don't have a plan? Wait, the plan is You have been talking for 15 minutes and not word of your plan has come out. You don't have a plan. You have not asked you have to tell everybody. You, ironically, sir. Professor you have to tell everybody. Ironically, sir. Professor Khanna, may I ask you, may I ask you a question? The corrupt comes, which I think is a wrong thing that you are doing. But anyhow, first and foremost, you are the expert. Tell me if this is true or not. The transmission capacity should at least be 1.5 times of the peak demand but that is not being met, resulting into power cuts. This I quote from one of the experts. Uh, no, right no, so what is your Just solution? You are giving sir. problems. Your party is in power. No, 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 no. no. You are you you're blaming what was there. Professor Khanna, wait for a Professor minute. Khanna, uh -huh. you're, you're, you're right in asking the BJP also. questions. Give Professor my Khanna, you're, you're very right no, in asking the BJP today. questions. When you have it, you bring it. No, Professor Khanna, you're very right in asking the BJP questions. But, but here's my question to you and I'm going to direct this to you and Sanjay Jha. The fact is, why are you expecting the BJP to deliver in two weeks or 100 days? The government which you are sympathizing did not have this kind of transmission facility where you can take up a load which is 1.5 times more than the demand. Today the demand goes to 6,000. The whole Delhi comes to a standstill. And today the demand is 5,600 megawatt. And Delhi is in a crisis No, here's the truth. Why? No, Sambit, here's the truth. Only because they can see the future. Why did a government which was in place for 12 years could not see the future? No, see, not, the just that. Was given not just the that, Professor Khanna. Delhi today has surplus power. Delhi today has surplus power. Do you have a solution? They just or cannot distribute each other? No, we Professor Khanna, blaming. Delhi today no, no, has surplus all you have been power. Doing for the last they cannot no, no, distribute it. Blaming everybody else. Sir, you cannot ask. you are not a, having a solution. Sir, what is your solution? If you can, you expect, house, can you expect a government that has come in for just two weeks to solve an issue which should have been planned 12 years ago? Then we are supposed to let you know what the truth is. And that is what we are doing as a... We are working silently. No, no. We will give you power. Have faith on us. We are not the Congress that you have been seeing all these years. No, so you Sambit. have a good opportunity oh, now. Professor you have Kana, enough time. If you think that everyone is just beating around the bush, what do you think is the solution? What is the solution? Professor Kanna, that's for you. What do you think is the solution? Me? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I do not agree with the assertion of my friend here that the discoms are corrupt. There are differences in the private companies on the quality of management. And, and I, my personal feeling is that Tata management of the Tata distribution company is much better than the Ambani's company. And you can ask the consumers of those areas. One, the, the DTL, the DTL, which is which carries the load from the, from the generation to these companies is ma managed by the government. The NDMC is managed by the government. And there are problems <coughs> in that. They have to be fixed. And all the problems can be fixed if, they, if you get, if invest money. If, you're, if the government money is not going to be available, consumers have to pay the bills. So, Aam Aadmi Party's campaign of not paying the bills is against this. All right. And, and, let me and therefore, you have to pay your bills and pay enough money so that you can have power Professor and Chinoy, the cost it, it makes without, to generate. Without personal attacks, because this is what usually happens. Whenever you ask a tough question, it usually descends into a personal attack. Do you agree that it was a wrong yeah, move me, to have the populist you. announcement of getting people of Delhi to not pay hmm. their power tariff? Maybe if that had not happened, we would not be in this situation today. Do you think it was a misstep? Number one, this is a ridiculous question because the problem of power in Delhi has been escalating over the last 20 years. So what Aam Aadmi did would not have had any long-term impact. But the reason Aam Aadmi did this was, uh, Samvit Batra is right, there has been corruption in the DISCOMs and therefore we wanted to ease the thing for the, for the poor. If you see the actual quantum of money the poor did not pay, it did not make a marked difference in the revenues for the discounts. So the real problem is the lack but of long-term planning to prepare for more power supply. Be. That has not been done. 
and that is why uh, Samvit is right. Professor the BJP Kamal or anyone cannot solve the problem in one or two uh, uh, years. It takes time. Nobody is blaming you, Professor Kamal Mitrachano. Nobody can blame you because you were there only for 49 days. And people had a lot of hopes from you. You were a creation of a huge movement. I but you squandered the whole days. faith of people Mr. within 49 Telang, days. You go, you no, no. Go make so nobody, Mr. Telang, I submit to you. Nobody, you nobody, nobody is making. Don't change. Don't, tell, don't yeah. tell social scientists what to say. No, but but no, Professor Chenoy, the best character no, no, for cartoons. What do you mean by this? No, I have no, no one hand, cartoons on your your party no, president. No, but he has a right to his opinion. That is no, no idea. I have, I, no, I have but my, Professor Chenoy, no, right I don't expect opinion. this from Mr. Kamal. Mr. Every Chenoy. citizen has a right to his opinion. You are a professor. Go and teach in the college. Why? What are you doing in this studio? Okay, three things. No more personal attacks. This is this is not. You don't come to personal. I am saying that nobody can blame you because you spend more time outside the office in the streets than the the government. Yes, the actually bore a loss of. I am somebody who really supported your party. And third, and I really feel that. Very sad. When this this uh, moment has died. They went into you know, power. They did not expect to be there for 49 days. So that is just a slander. It's not an argument. No, no, but then I, can I can this I come is, in political? Now I, I'll give him a political answer. This I is this believe, is a very stupid see, yes, thing actually. Sudhir, I believe uh, we all should understand that Aam Aadmi Party is not to be with due respect. Aam Aadmi Party is not to be taken that seriously. See, they climbed a few polls. No, no, and but they, they jumped to one. No, 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 people no, had no, a lot no, of hope no, with them. Even I had a lot of hope with them. Sambit Patra. Sambit Patra, Sambit Patra, I disagree with you. Sambit Patra, Sambit Patra, please listen to me. I disagree with you. The Aam Aadmi Party, the Aam Aadmi Party was given a mandate by the people of Delhi. There was a certain level of trust that was imposed on the Aam Aadmi Party by the people of Delhi, which is why they belied all experts and won 26 seats in the Delhi elections. Now, second part, whether or not they expected to be in power for 40 days, 45 days, or five, 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 five months or five years. No, the issue is, the issue is, did they make a single forward-looking policy or plan which could have been continued towards, uh, towards being implemented? That did not happen. That did not happen. That did not happen. No, and I'm going, going back to Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha. No, Sambit Patra, wait. I'm going to go back to Sanjay Jha and ask Sanjay Jha this question. Yes. Today, Delhi has surplus Aam power. Aam there is no Sanjay problem with demand. There is no Delhi. problem with electricity supply. Delhi, in fact, supplies power outside. It cannot distribute the power. It cannot distribute the power within its own city. That is the problem. Now, should that problem be fixed in two weeks by a BJP government or, or, a, or, or a government under the ages of the lieutenant governor or should it have been done 12 years ago or a decade ago by the Congress government? That is the question. Shouldn't there have been forward planning? And there is a lacuna there. There is no forward planning. And that's the question we are asking. Why wasn't it there? And why are you expecting it from a BJP government that has just come about a fortnight ago? No, because they promised well, that you know, Just give me a minute to answer expecting. because you know I have seen so this discussion going absolutely no, no, haywire. Can, can I just make a very us? simple? Uh, no, no, you are the one who are saying Achyadin. We are not the one. Yes, you are not Achyadin. Sambit Patra, Professor Khanna, please hold on. Can I answer without an interruption? Yes, Sanjay, go ahead. I mean, it's absolutely absurd. You know, I can't even. Sanjay, please make your point. Go ahead. People jumping in. Just give me a minute. I won't take too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make a simple point that you are correct in saying that there was a lot of competitive populism when it came to electricity rates. Now they all know, I think all political parties are aware that this might be an ability, this might work in trying to hoodwink people into voting for them, but you have to face the hard reality in the... Uh, if it's assumed that you win. And that's going to be the BJP's biggest challenge. Now, it's a simple business maxim. If I'm a corporate entity, I'm not there as a, you know, I'm not running an NGO or a charitable initiative. Corporate companies will have to earn a profit or some revenue above their cost to be able to survive in business. Now, every time a government tries to take an initiative towards that end, there are already transmission and distribution losses. There are so many thousands of crores of non-payment from consumers, but political parties have to know how to bite the bullet. Delhi is a city today that can feel very proud that until the last six months, which has seen an extraordinary deterioration, under the time when the Congress government was in power, and you cannot deny that, I agree there may have been sporadic breakdowns once in a while, but the truth is Delhi was actually one of the re few cities in India, other than Mumbai, which could boast of an uninterrupted and high quality 24 into 7 supply. It's now 
become a challenge because the government has to now take a bold and a pragmatic decision, Anand, to say that, listen, while today the distribution companies are under the CAG audit, they are contesting it, but let it happen for transparency. But to cast a suspicious eye on a private entity merely because it is trying to make you know, a revenue for itself is, I think, defeating a commercial and no, a viable Sanjay, business. Sanjay, hear Otherwise, me out. you will not get electricity. Sanjay, ja, please it's hear me out. Hard reality. Sanjay, ja, you can't run out. away from that Please hear me out. So, Sambit Vatra ja, trying no, to no, still Sanjay, make ja, the pass is only using to. a flimsy and dodgy excuse that won't work. Is this government willing to take the hard decision? The question back to you. Have to do it. No, 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 question back to you. Days. Question back to you. Did did or did not the Sheila Dixit government have a clear mandate of the people for sure. three terms? She did, right? What was her planning? What was the Delhi That's government's right. planning? That's right. Looking yeah. ahead to address the challenges of distribution and transmission because this was raised by the Supreme Court back in 2006, and we are back to the same thing seven, eight years hence. That's the question. Why was it not done when so you had a clear answer that for you. Uh, Anand, a very pertinent question. Uh, let me give you a very, very quick answer. It was our government that brought about a privatization of the power sector. You are absolutely correct that in Delhi is distribution. They have to purchase power from these suppliers, whether it's NTPC or any other state electricity board. Now, the fact of the matter is that if you want to you know, meet the rising demand, it's not about you know, Delhi has grown exponentially as a city in terms of industry, commercial establishment, Sanjay, more residential dwellers and migrants. Now, if you have to meet Sanjay. the demand, our government, our government, no, Shila please don't take government was please trying don't to address credit. the problem of please don't take credit. adhere because to a certain norm, Please push for out. a marginal increase in Please tariff me out. and ensure that no, the losses not, on no, transmission no. and distribution the, here is which is called issue. leakages and, and power the theft would yeah. come Please down. hear me out. That was what please hear me out again. Yeah. You please don't take credit again because I have Anand. to come to you, Sanjay, because look at this. Today, Piyush Goel picked up, picked up, the power minister picked up the issue of the Bawana plant. He said the Bawana plant capacity is 1500 megawatts. It's not even doing 250. And he said and that we will try and get more gas megawatts. from the NTPC to try and scale up the commission ca ca capacity of the plant. Mm. But here is the truth about the Bawana plant. It was supposed to be a Commonwealth Games initiative. It was supposed to be operational in 2010. It yes. didn't get operational until 2012. And even now, it is not up to full capacity. So who's responsible for this? So you are supposed to create power plants. You're supposed to create transmission capability. You have not done your government, the Delhi of the Congress-led government in Delhi has not done it. And that is what you're facing now. It's not about six months. It's what's not happened in the last 15 years. And that's why I'm coming back to you. Uh, Anand. Yes. Add to that populist measures, Anand. roll out of free Anand. 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 I'm glad you're asking me the question. I'm glad you're asking me the Anand. question. If I don't get interrupted, I will just take 30 even seconds even to answer you. You know, the issues that you're raising are more fundamental to the overall power industry in India, which has got to be linked with shortage of coal, which has got to do with LNG supply. And one last point, please remember that power is in the concurrent list. It is both the central government and the state government responsible. It was UP and Congress all along. That's what I'm trying to say. You can't just say that it was populist measures that over the last six months things have deteriorated. My, this I'm is what saying, has happened. I'm saying there what are you larger is what you issues reap, of and what you've done over the last 15 years. We're all facing the people of Delhi of are facing at now. the right time. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining to you if there is a power crisis in any part of India, it's got to do with regulatory clearances is one part of it. Environmental issues are another. Now Supply again, I'm talking about governance. I am talking about governance. This was supposed to be controlled are, by the Delhi government. Isn't the DRAC issue. also responsible and uh, 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 doesn't it have to play a role? Doesn't it report to the Delhi government? What was the Delhi government doing all along? If you have brought in private uh, you know, suppliers and you have tried to privatize well, electricity, I, what were you doing as far as transfer? Uh, tra transmission and distribution setting up. You were just focusing on tariffs. Now, the question is that you can always attack one, uh, one aspect and deflect the other, Sanjay Jha. But the point is, these are all questions. This is all supposed to, it's going to come back and hurt us. Be it the BJP government, Amadmi party government, they have issues which have been created by a government which had three terms. That's what has happened. Now, go ahead and, and they further uh, you know, uh, dilute the pot out, uh, further stir the pot by doling out freebies in a short-term government. These quick fixes have come back to yeah, 50%. Can you bring the camera here? Hello. Between Anand and that stops the camera. Can you bring the camera here? The commercial viability of the discoms. Yes, Sambit, go ahead, please. Yeah. See, Anand, the point that I wanted to make was, in fact, my friend Sanjay Jha had twice mentioned today in the debate, the business model in which profitability of the companies have to be respected. Sanjay, I believe there is nothing called as a business model in governance. 
If at all there is something called as profit, then the profit goes to the people. If at all there is surplus power, then the power goes to the people. People have to live their lives happily. I believe no discoms, no transco should be living Stop over here for profit. This is point number one. Secondly and most importantly, let me also remind you, Sanjay, of the fact that after 30th May 2014, the dreaded storm that we had in Delhi, there were proxy arrangements also made so that Delhi had power. But ironically, the proxy arrangements could not take the load that was put into to it it could not carry the load of 400 megawatt okay. extra electricity so we did not have anything as alternative measure which can give respite to the people of the capital so there was no forward thinking by the government which was previously Safi, okay sambit patwa yes. you made your point now i want to yeah. get in Com professor kamal mitra chinoy once again professor chinoy everyone that we've been speaking to in delhi the majority view at this point seems to be that this is an issue the Ahmadni party thinks they can capitalize on latch on to ahead of the delhi elections you face some reverses in the lok sabha elections and this is something that you think will hit a nerve will you rethink your policy vis-a-vis -vis power before you make promises again before delhi goes to elections for the assembly i would just make one submission to you Please see the price of power in Delhi in 1970 and what the price of power is today. Factored in inflation. No, let's not go back to 1970. I'm asking you a simple that question. Are you going to you rethink your listen. power policy before you make promises no, no, to people of Are you telling me what I simple should say? Simple question, Professor Chinoy. Why are you I telling me you what I should say? Clearly. Why can't you answer the question she's putting to you, Mr. Chair, Professor Chinoy? I am trying to tell you that between 1970 and now there has been massive inflation in the price of electricity and it was to balance that to counterbalance that that we stand and mind you Samvit Patra has also said that discoms have been making high profits so in order to cut down the profits and give money in the sense of free power to people even though there are shortages, but Professor Kamal, you gave shortages. the people money we did to the discord to do subsidize not. them. Yes. Remember, Professor Kamal, Professor Mitra, you remember, you are the one. Everyone who is giving money people to the money. You just all the people money the from people one pocket and give it to the other pocket. The that is all. No, no. Subsidy. People you are giving the money to the, the discord. by the you gang and people? thereafter you should have retrieved the money and then given See, it I to just the want to This a country is Mother full Mother, of let me just subsidies. Come in here. This country is full of subsidies. See, I want to say yes. many yes. subsidies that under the electricity law, in this country, the discord cannot make a profit. For various types you have of to balance revenue and costs. They get yes, a fixed return Kana. on their capital invested. You don't, so the question you of don't profit? balance the discounts and not make a profit for a public law. good. And you don't even know this elementary you fact. Know. And you are debating about the electricity in Delhi. The elementary yeah, fact, Sri Ram Khanna, is, is that it's not just a consumer, but the fact that it's a public good and a public good can be subsidized. What public good came out of doling out freebies? Professor Chinoy, what public no, good came out of yes, trying to beat down and increasing now. the deficit, you growing the deficit of Delhi? What public good came out of yes. taxing you the You look exchequer. at the deficits of Delhi. It had nothing to do with... Yes, because the, you, uh, you, you added subsidy. to the deficit of Delhi, which yeah, is already facing a 3,000 crore deficit. This is a neoliberal... No, no. Anti no, Professor Chinoy, please tell me. Chinoy, you said you wanted to, you wanted to relieve the people of Delhi socialism. because of the inflation of electricity says, prices. Socialism. What steps did you take to ensure the that they don't face a power please cut? The they don't face a power outage. Yeah. What step did the Ahmadi Party take? Of the preamble of See, the Constitution. Professor no. Chinoy, can you keep quiet for a minute? <laughs> yes. Chinoy, so what I'm saying is that. Yeah. Yeah, Padanja, can you just show this cartoon? I would like to end this program with this cartoon. The, the thing, this is the state of the Delhi citizen today. Delhi has become a, a, a living desert. It's a hot desert. I would like to say one thing only here is that we have to plan in advance for everything. We know very well advance. Do we know about that monsoon is going to come? But every year we fail to see that the monsoon is coming. Do we clean our, uh, do we clean our gutters? Do we clean our manholes? But we start doing it only after the monsoon arrives and there is mess and complete hell on Delhi roads and roads of everywhere else. Every year, Sudhi, you see the picture of a bus submerged in water under Minto Bridge on the front page of every newspaper. This happens every year. 
Why can't we, add, we plan all these things, everything in advance? That is the whole thing. We are not looking for blaming the Aam Aadmi Party or the Congress or the BJP. We want solutions. The citizens of this country, citizens of this city want solutions from the politicians. And I'm saying that let Mr. Narendra Modi make a plan for the next 100 years and say 100, 100 days and say after 100 days he'll, he'll control these things. And for right. Mr. Kamal Mitra Chano, I'm going to send him a bottle of glycodin. <laughs> right, right. Sudhir Telang, we'll try and keep the personal jibes out, but you made a fair point. And on that note, we'll conclude debate number one here on the News Hour. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us on the debate.